Hello Patrons, welcome to this post-game section for Game 8 of the Campaign of Doom. So we're just going to do a quick one and roll through the six sections. First of all, injured fighters. Now in this case, it's only the Mysteries of the Dark that lost their fighters, or lost any at all, and it is the Alchemist, Assassin and Apprentice. So I'm going to roll for each of these and go from left to right. For the Alchemist, a five. They are fine and may participate in the next game as normal, however, they lose their current experience points, resetting them to zero. They do keep their skills, however. Assassin gets an eight. Ooh, yay, what is it with this assassin model and getting battered arms or broken legs? But I will roll that one later on, once I've done the last one, which is the Apprentice, who gets a 10. Ooh, that sees the Apprentice is dead, but I get to keep their weapons, so I get to keep their pair of daggers. Now I'm going to roll again for the Assassin, a 3. So that would be the broken leg, so the model can only move four inches into combat and in the move phase. For the experience and skill section, we've actually worked it out. Nobody at this point, from what we can see in the game, actually reached enough experience that they would roll for a skill. So we're just going to skip over that section. As for income gathering, I get a grand total of no d6 for this. I also get a grand total of zero for the Mysteries of the Dark because they failed their pluck test and ran away. On top of that, they didn't achieve any of the three things that you can achieve to get a coin. Their alchemist didn't so get any coins. Their alchemist didn't survive. They lost the game in play, and they didn't remove any enemy models. So, in addition to the twelve coins that my opponent would get for me running away in that scenario, they also get to roll five coins or five d6 worth of coins. Let's see what they get. So they have rolled makes ten and. So they've rolled 16, so they'll add that to the 12 that they have and the other coins that they have in their stored income, and we will tot up what that is. Like I say, as for the Mysteries of the Dark, absolutely nothing, so hopefully we can do something about that. Now we will come on to recuperation, as we've gone through the income gathering. On a 2+, plus, I will get 5 coins. On a 1, I will lose 5 coins. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I get five coins added to my stored income, so I at least have something. As for my opponent who's running Cleanse of the World, if they roll a five or six now, they get a free cultist, which they haven't, so they get no free cultist to add to their list. For the purchasing and hiring section, I have decided for the Mysteries of the Dark not to spend the few coins that they have, just because we're going to kind of probably hopefully need them for the next game. And um, seeing as they actually do have five concoctions at the moment, I don't really need to do any rolls in that regard. As for my opponent, they are buying a marked person with crossbow and dagger for 18 coins, and then with the remainder, that will be 10 coins left over from this initial stash, so they're going to roll three concoctions and see what they get. Okay, so they have rolled a 1, 5, and a 6, which the number that they could choose would be a 2, so we're just going to add that 1, 5, and 6 to the list of concoctions they have available. Now we're on to the last section, the exploration. Now in this case, although my alchemist was removed from the game, they did not roll something on the injuries chart that caused them to miss a game, so I still get to do recuperation and exploration as stated in the rules. So in this case, I will see what I get. An 8, so my... Mysteries of the Dark have a counter charge which they can use in the next game. That's getting a free move before the game starts for one of their fighters. As for my opponent who's using the cleansers, they have rolled a two. So they get dodgy map distribution, which is after both players have finished deploying their fighters. Pick two of your opponent's fighters. You may make a normal six inch move with that fighter before the game begins. So that one allows them to disrupt two of the fighters in the next game when using the cleansers. With that, we come to the end of part eight for the campaign of Doom. Next week, we are not actually going to do a campaign game. We're going to do something a little bit different and have a little break from the campaign because then we're going to go into the final four games and then we will wrap this campaign up on game 12. But for next week, we're going to do something a little different instead. However, that is the end of, like I say, this part game eight. So we will see you on Sunday with a completely new battle report.